The HRM9 is my favorite SMG and it seems to be everyone else's favorite as well, but I keep seeing these same exact builds, so I thought outside the box and sauced up a brand new insane build. Ladies and gents, you probably won't like this build, but you also will love this build. It is a very niche one. It's actually my favorite HRM right now. I've been having so much fun with it. Right here, there's no attachments on the gun. First thing you guys can see, there is so much recoil on the weapon. This thing literally is one of the highest recoil guns in the entire game, making it pretty difficult to use. So we are going to be murdering the recoil even more. We're going to make the recoil very unusable, but we're going to have so much mobility that you can literally win every single gunfight up close. Like it literally does doesn't matter the scenario you're in as long as you're like close range you're gonna be able to win the the gunfight because the with the no stock we get so much sprint to fire speed that no matter what you can pull up your gun faster than the enemies you're also gonna have a faster strafe speed making it easier to activate that rotational aim assist plus we are gonna be able to ads very quickly and we can just overall move around the map way quicker you guys can see the mobility and the handling is gonna get a massive buff same with the accuracy the hit fire is gonna be better and so overall this thing is so fun to use with the no stock but it's almost impossible to use now by the way if you want everything in modern warfare 3 legitimately then i would check out guapsi they will plan your account to unlock anything you desire and that goes for warzone multiplayer zombies and many other games i have also never seen a single negative review i'll have their link down in the description which just to show that you guys can see this thing is so difficult to use at range like there is so much recoil on the gun but look at this mobility you can really break everyone's ankles and it's very very good on these small maps still works very very good in warzone 2 as long as you're aggressive if you're a very slow player and you just overall suck at the game i would use some of my other builds which i'll show you guys another build for this gun in case you don't like it so to help control the recoil on the gun we are going to be adding the jack bfb which kind of seems pointless like we're adding the no stock to increase the mobility and then we have the jack bfb to like increase the recoil control which then chalks the mobility but trust me it doesn't chalk it that much we still get the tactical sprint speed sprint speed crouch movement and the overall movement speed the rest of the stuff is going to kind of cancel out in a way and then we are going to be losing some of our ball velocity which does make the gun a little bit weird at times which is why this is more of a niche build and the enemies are really going to know where you're at now because it's going to increase that radar detection but if you're on these small maps it's really not going to matter whatsoever and i got some crazy mgb so it didn't really affect me at all if you do want to run a different muzzle that's not going to really like you know make you so loud on the map then i would run the competitive flash hider just keep in mind there is going to be a decent amount of recoil on the weapon so we are going to be adding the jack bfb now we got that recoil control and we got the mobility but we are going to be flying through ammo like we are going to be really flying through it since you're going to be in the enemy's face you need to play aggressive so we got the 50 round mag on there so we don't really have to worry about that too much also keep in mind it is going to be a lot easier if you hit that first shot one way that's going to make it easier to hit the first shot is just having really good centering you just want to ads and start firing on the enemy this thing does kick initially to the left so sometimes if i see an enemy i'll try to like center right there and then it's going to kind of lock onto their chest because it kicks to the left really hard at the beginning. So give this build about like three games before you chalk it if you don't like it. Because if you can get good with this build, you are really going to be finessing everyone and you're going to be having a great time. One thing that's going to make it a little bit easier to use is by adding the assault grip. This can increase that gun kick control and the recoil control, which remember that gun kick control and the fire name and stability are going to be the two most important things when you are increasing that recoil control. Just trying to make your gun easier to use. You want to focus on those. Yes, we are losing more of our ADS speed, but if we go back into the firing range, you guys can see our ADS speed is going to be still very good on the weapon. Pretty fast ADS speed. And the build I'm running is actually going to have even more mobility. But, you know, if you're still struggling to use this and you really want to try this thing with the no stock, you're just not that good, then you might want to go over to the underbarrel and add the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. It's going to eliminate that side-to-side -side bounce, and it's going to add a lot of recoil gun kick control. Just know it is going to hurt the ADS speed a little bit more, so the gun's going to be a tad slower than it was before. Another great option is going to be the Kamira Ryan 03 Vertical Grip. I almost made the whole video on this thing because it really does make the gun a lot easier to use when you add this underbarrel so i feel like most of you guys are gonna like this i just i'm not running this in the gameplay i'll show you guys the one i'm running just to show you guys we got that mobility still you guys will definitely like this honestly i would try all these variations and just use the one that you like the most or you know just have some fun we're all just playing a game trying to enjoy life on here so uh this is a great class what you guys can also do is go over to the barrel this can increase that damage range mitigating the cons of that muzzle that was lowering that bow velocity it's going to bring that back up and add damage range keep in mind the gun is going to be a little bit slower but now we basically we have the same amount of mobility a little bit slower sprint of fire speed and stuff but overall still pretty mobile and we have the no stock so you guys should definitely 
try this as well this one's gonna feel a lot stronger and it's actually pretty easy to use so here's a screenshot for you guys you guys can see the main part of the build is rear grip stock magazine muzzle the rest doesn't really matter i don't think you need an optic but if you are gonna add one add the slate reflector or the mk3 reflector the other ones are a little bit weird stay away from the ammo high green rounds isn't bad but that's a lot of recoil what i'm gonna be rocking in the gameplay you guys are gonna think i'm a little bit weird but if you use it you guys will see er6 hand stop this is gonna make the mobility even lighter so now the gun you could really move around the map and i don't know why i'm getting so excited excited about this thing it's just like how the gun holy shit insane ads still like easy to control as long as you hit that first shot if you're playing aggressive and you're used to and you just know what to do like you're gonna be winning every gunfight up close you can get around the map so fast like you're gonna be moving like you have a knife but with an smg again here is a screenshot of the build if you guys want it and loving the hrm9 let me know in the comments a build that i should try out i'm i want to start using your guys' builds and videos this is the second era we were rocking we got the renetti i love that thing got the infantry vest so we can tax for a little bit longer trophy system you okay you have to run this on the small map mosh pit basically and trophy system is going to be very crucial so you don't die by a million nades and gas bombs and all the annoying things in the game and then just run scavenger if you're always running out of ammo if you're not always running out of ammo the ads is already pretty good so you don't need assault marksman gloves are definitely going to be the move for this gun over sneak is very helpful and then eod now let's get into it okay so first game on we got a great build that's probably the best one up close if you're in the enemy's face like they shouldn't really be able to win a single gun fight unless you just suck at aiming i just got new control freaks Right one feels amazing. Left one, I don't think I like it anymore. I used to really like the Vortex on the left, but um, after using a different kind because the Vortex one just like broke, I, I don't like the Vortex on the left, which is basically like a... Okay, where the fuck are these enemies? What are you guys doing? Are you, are you, uh, huh? Hello? It's frangible. There might not even see him. Okay. Left stick. Now it's like concave. It used to be like domed. I really like the dome for the left stick. It feels like it's easier to move around and then have the concave. Just never have concave. I have domed tall on the right side. Okay, you're going to die. You're going to die. Super sorry for your loss, my man. Actually, no, I don't really give a shit at all. You're running thermites, you weirdo. Probably got shotguns as well. Like that, do that. We got someone up. Bro, this map is so hectic. Let me know in the comments though. What small map do you guys like the most? Because whenever I'm looking for maps, the one that always gets voted still the most is Shipment. But, like, Shipment is dog shit. I don't know how people like Shipment. Like, it's not bad, but, like... I personally get way more kills when I'm playing, like, DOS Haas and stuff like that. Compared to Shipment. Shipment, that's, like, where I get the least amount of kills. And I just get, like... It's just not fun. Especially because it looks the same as last year. Yes, we do have, like, the Christmas one. So it's a little bit unique, but maybe it's the blue skies. I love blue skies. Like when I'm playing Call of Duty, I want my map to have blue skies. Like they just add. No, Echo, you're the best player in the world. You're just better. We're going to need. Oh, teammates are actually kind of going crazy. Like I was saying, though, they just added departures and Vista in the rank play. And I believe they're both sunny maps from what I can remember. I haven't played on them in a decent amount. So I'm very excited for that. Just to have some sunny maps. Which is why I like Terminal, but also Terminal's ass. Like, Terminal's, in my opinion, one of the worst maps in the game. It just looks good, but it doesn't have any, like, flow. Especially on, like, search and things. Like, respawn up, it doesn't really... Oh, well, okay. Non-competitive, it doesn't really matter. In competitive, it is not that fun to play with. But on that echo, that echo guy is a little bit annoying. Oh my god, we're so much better. No! See, look, I spoke the Echo guy into existence. I think he was just executing my teammate, but I thought my teammate was executing him. But I didn't go for that. Wait, wait, wait. Insane spawns! Also, I have a lot of merch ideas lined up. The harder part is, like, executing them. But I, like, was mainly putting a lot of thought into, like, ideas. And I got a lot of good ideas now. And kind of like a... Dude, whoever has those those uh, shock sticks, your mom's a hoe. We're on a nine. This is great. Oh, that is one thing I need to learn how to play with is the hybrid. You can slide and dive in this game. The reason why I have slide only and like the dolphin I've turned off is so my slide 
is a lot more responsive. The game doesn't like... The game isn't wondering if I'm going to slide or dive, so it just instantly has me slide, so it like reacts a lot quicker. If you play with slide only on and then play with slide only off or something like that, you'll notice a massive difference instantly. Bro, these guys don't want to move. I just EMP'd them. Take away everything that they have. Well, that guy in the hard point, he is the points. He is the man that you need in rank play to play the objective. Wait, you see where he just spawned? Bro, that's the hardest. Oh! I think they made it impossible to get nukes on these maps. Or like they did their best to make it impossible. I should make a TikTok of like how bad spawns are in this game. I don't mean to complain at all. I'm just like, you know, I'm just chatting away. Like that guy spawned in between my cheeks. Huh? Violated me completely. Completely violated me right there. Okay, like I was saying though. I completely forgot. Let's just see if we can put these guys into a blender. I don't want to push out too much because I don't want them to... Like, I don't know if I'll have enough ammo to be able to take out all the people that spawn near me. Like, I feel like I need an extra 10 rounds in case they're near me. I feel like you guys have probably missed out on so many gameplays. When, like, I mean, not like gameplays, but like, you know, you're popping off in your match. You might get your first nuke or you might get your, you know... The swarm kill streak, you're so excited. You run out of ammo. The enemy spawns directly in your sights, and you can't do anything because you don't have ammo. That's had to have happened to you guys. Okay. I just gotta play the edges in a way. It seems like they're starting to slow down a little bit. That guy's not even trying to quit. Oh shit. Damn it, damn it, we got it. Okay, it's, all, it's 150 to 80. We have all our streaks. We can definitely do this. Talk my teammates hop off the objective. See them top right. No, no, the, the shock charges again. I wonder if there's like a challenge that he's doing. Because I don't think he's even going for kills. He's just throwing those down. I got to, like, diagnose these lobbies. Oh, thank God I had the advance because it showed the guy spawn right there. But yeah, I need to, like, diagnose these lobbies to drop a nuke on them. I got to be like, okay, what is what is he doing? Is he throwing those down to then sit and wait for someone to go there? Is he just trying to piss people off? Is he going to challenge me once I get stuck with those things? Let's uh, nade that corner. Clear out these corners. He's right there. I'm not going to challenge that, though. Because they might spawn closer. And now they're trying to... They're kind of swarming us in a way. I just... I didn't get a single kill with 50 rounds. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, I do have another EMP. We're on a 15 right now. That's not bad. We're halfway there. Let's reload while we can, since they're all right over here. So this is going to be a little bit sketchy because they all are in the hot tub right now. Teammate, can you help? Thank you, teammate. That was huge. Oh, Maybe they do this so you can't spawn trap. Maybe that's why they have the spawns be like atrocious. I just don't understand like why it's worse in this game compared to other games. So I really want to go through all my videos and like make a compilation of bad spawns. Yo, if one of you guys do that, make an actual... It. We get the one down. We get the two down. Can we get the three potato? Oh, he's going to get taken down. He thought he was a little bit slick and smooth. Oh, do I got caught from two angles? I'm not too surprised. But okay, we need to put these guys into a spawn trap. We need to absolutely trap them back there so we don't have to worry about them spawning in behind us because it is the battle of spawns in this game. It is the battle of spawns on Modern Warfare 3. That's all it is. Okay. I think they're, yeah, they're spawning over on A. Oh, shotgun to me. That guy's gonna, that guy makes me a little bit nervous low key. Oh, not the shit in your pants. Bro, you know, I might actually just throw on scavenger and then add a trophy system because there's going to be so many nades and stuff like that that I'm probably 
Gonna need the trophy system. We can add the scavenger gloves on there. Now we should be good to run around. We still can get ammo, but we don't have to worry about like the random gas and nades like that. Which is why I should have done for stash house. That's probably why I didn't get the MGB. Like. Nice little triple there. We totally didn't die like five times before this life. Oh, okay. Okay, so I play with prioritized interact on, so basically. It's gonna No! But oh, that was sick. Okay, I gotta lock it in. Okay, I don't know why I spawned over here. I play with prioritized interact on, so basically, it's always gonna prioritize the interact, like opening a door, closing the door, picking up a weapon over, reloading. Which is a little bit weird at first, but you get used to it pretty fast. That guy is literally the worst player in the world. And so, when you have a VTOL up, you have to hold the reload. Like, I can't just click my reload button to reload, if that makes sense. Which I always forget. Like, I'm not around anything, but since my VTOL's up in the air, it's just going to keep ro relocating my VTOL instead of actually reloading. One thing I want to start using is, like, the cruise missiles a lot. I feel like those are pretty fun to use. Like, in rank play, you can, like... Well, okay, in rank play, a big stress to always, like, arc them, or you can really guide them around the map. Okay, that was so sketchy because the enemies were spawning behind me, but it seems like they're over on C as well. Let's call in the Vito over on A. Played a tiny bit slower, so I'm going to rush into their spawn. No! Oh, where did Nasty spawn? I think Nasty spawned right in the middle. I feel like I'm playing chess right here. Okay, advanced UV. Let's turn that on. Let's get the Vs. I mean, let's get trophy system in here. Maybe they do that because they don't want you to play too aggressive. Like they. Okay, let's see how we do by just sticking in the middle of the map, like not going into the spawn as much. It's like this weird parallel spawn. When you get kills on the sides, instead of them spawning back here again, since the game doesn't want them to get spawn trapped, it seems like they spawn in the middle. So that's why sometimes if you get kills, and, well, and then if you kill them in the middle, they'll probably spawn behind you. Like maybe they just will never spawn in the back twice. Yeah, it seems like since they all died right there, they're going to be spawning on this side now. And then once I kill them there, they're going to spawn over here. Oh, you see the science behind spawns? Okay, let's do the EMP again. Just to make them cry a little bit. Make them a little bit worried. Bro, okay, I meant to lay down right there. But then it did lay down, so I let go. But then it laid down. Oh god. They were so close to this. I see, I like this build because even if they spawn in front of you, you still have a really high chance of actually killing them. See, they're all shooting each other now because they don't know who's who. EMP, literally the best. The guy in that corner. I feel like these guys got shotgun, so I gotta wait. Just in case, you know. Just in case. We don't wanna get shotgun. And I think that's the nuke. Oh, we got, yeah, we got the nuke. Let's go, boys. Yo, leave a like for that and subscribe. See how we just played the map a little bit smarter? And, like, usually I can just run at them. But with these new spawns, you can't really do that. You gotta be very aware of where they're gonna be at. And it's like they recently got worse. Hopefully this doesn't sound like I'm complaining at all. I'm just trying to, you know, conversate with you guys. Sometimes I get comments of people being like, oh, why are you complaining? I'm like, no, 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 I don't mean to complain. It's just like conversating. But like these spawns. Like, uh, I, I, like I was saying, like I'm, ooh, a month ago, they made it so they basically won't spawn in the same place twice because they don't want people to get spawn trapped. But the reason I disagree with that change, and some people agree, but... There's a reason why the good players, you know, or the, you know, the top percentage players think that's a dumb idea. is because Call of Duty, like, a part of the skill is being able to get them stuck in the spawn. 
and knowing how far forward you can push up without flipping that spawn. So it's like basically finessing the whole map. And that's like a just a big skill. And that's how Call of Duty's always been. That's how it is in rank play. If you're playing for spawns, you need to figure out where those guys are going to be at. That just adds a huge skill gap. That's why a lot of people like the multiplayer. Because you can get a bunch of kills. And when you're when you know where they're spawning, that's how you get the bunch of kills and you get your streaks, and that's how you get the nukes. But they made it so they don't want people to die once and then spawn in the same area again. They'd rather have them spawn in a completely different area to prevent them from being spawn trapped, which probably helps like a, the like an average casual player because they don't understand necessarily spawns in the game and how to like the importance of the spawns which is why i try to educate you guys on the spawns, so then you're not really like an average player or if you are an average player you're an average player who knows about spawns and the importance of spawns and so if an average player doesn't really know about spawns they're going to just get really frustrated with the spawn trap, and they're not going to really understand why they're getting spawn trapped. They're just going to think the game is dumb for allowing them to get spawn trapped. But if that player gets to the point in their COD skill to understand the spawns, they'll actually enjoy the game more. Like, they might enjoy it more at the beginning because they won't ever get spawn trapped, but it's going to be like a temporary enjoyment. Once they start to get better, is when they are going to um, enjoy the game more when they can finesse the spawns. Because that's a part of the enjoyment in the game. We just got a double nuke. That makes up for not getting the nuke last game. So if you haven't already, drop the like. Drop a motherfucking like. Put the subscription and the noties on. We also are uploading on the Warzone channel as well. I do like no face cam gameplays, face cam gameplays. I do the whole thing, you know, everything. That's more of just the secondary channel where I just like to... You know, I do like to play Warzone here and there, so I wanted to be able to actually, you know, play for a reason on there and not feel like I'm wasting time or anything. So now, sometimes I like to play with no face cam. Sometimes I like to play with the face cam. This is my main channel that we're, where we put most of the work and the effort into because multiplayer, we all like that multiplayer the most. We got to rep the multiplayer community. Not too many people are doing that nowadays. Bro, we actually completely dominated these these enemies like the second we kind of figured out what the spawns were doing of how they aren't going to be spawning in the same place we started to do a lot better on the game and i feel like i could have done that on stash house if i just wasn't getting so angry maybe on stash house i actually was complaining a little bit i almost sent a tweet that would probably get me blacklisted it wasn't bad it was just like me just ranting ranting like 300 words of me just ranting about the spawns just talking about how i'm getting impregnated from the enemy spawning inside my fucking asshole gun up there barrel ready and just you know that's how the spawns were i was like why are you spawning inside my sights it's like when you kill the enemy okay okay here i'll try to move on sorry guys sometimes you know i gotta let it out though. sometimes i gotta let it out okay we might honestly be able to get one more nuke that guy's gonna get so sad how he just dropped the nuke on him No! Oh, I'm, that guy's dog shit. What? You know what? You're just gonna get nuked right now. Make sure you drink your water. Oh my gosh, dude. Let's go. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna be able to get it today. I was like, bro, I was playing Rust. Holy, bro, I spawn died five times in a row. I'm just spawning near this guy. I was spawning at different points around him in circles. It was insane. Like, I couldn't comprehend what was going on. I was losing it.